Kills Corner, back again. That's right. Friday, baby. <sighs> yeah. We got a couple things. A couple things to talk about. Uh, but first, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave comments in the comment section. It's Kills Corner, baby. And like you say, let's get into it. First, prayers, condolences go out to Saul Mambi. Saul Mambi, one of the great fighters in the lightweight division for decades. He was something else, okay? Uh, a class act. He was WBC lightweight champion. He's from the Bronx, New York. This guy had a sanctioned bout in 2008, and he was 60 years old, <laughs> okay? That shows you what kind of shape this dude was in, all right? Uh, pro debut in 1969. The guy fought Duran. He fought McGirt. He fought Ronnie Shields. And just an all-around great fighter, great person, and one of the great ones, all right? He will be missed. Saul Mambi, prayers to you and your family. Kills Corner salute you. Now, also, an announcement for you New England fans. Uh, February 8th uh, will be Mark DeLuca against Kell Brooks. And Mark left today to fly over there to England to start his training camp. February 8th, he'll be duking it out with Kell Brooks. This is Mark DeLuca's big chance. That's all I have to say. This is it right here. So he's got to look, uh, got to look good, got to look impressive. And first of all, he's got to win. He has to. All right. So good luck to you, Mark. New England, salute you. They're behind you, and good luck to you. Now, I will go on. Now let's talk about. This awards thing for World Boxing News Fighter of the Year. They got Canelo, Manny, Arrow, Naoya, Dante, Anthony Joshua. We'll come back to that. Women's Fighter of the Year, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, Clarissa Shields. Very tough, okay? Who to pick between that? I don't know. I've never really seen Serrano fight, but she's got all those belts and Clarissa's a good fighter, you know, personality-wise, maybe not so good, but she's a good fighter. And Katie Taylor, she's, she's tough and rugged, and, you know, I like Katie Taylor, you know. I just like her. She seems like a, a good person, you know. So, I don't know, is it a popularity contest? Or, you know, we're talking about skills here, so that's kind of tough. Maybe we'll come back to that. Maybe we'll come back to that, and maybe we'll go to uh, Fight of the Year. Fight of the Year. You got Joshua Ruiz one. You got Inu versus Dante. And you got Spence versus Porter. That's Fight of the Year. Um, I'm not sure. Spence Porter was a great fight. Really was. Inu Dante was a great fight too. Joshua Ruiz. I think that should be like a uh, upset of the year, you know? So, I don't know. We'll go with Spence and Porter on that one. If you want to leave comments in the comment section and pick your own, I would gladly, uh, gladly appreciate that. And we can talk about it, you know? Young Fighter of the Year, 23 and under as of January 19th. <clears throat> tough, tough Afimo Lopez, Devin Haney, Emmanuel Naravetti. Uh, I'm going to go with Devin Haney. I like Devin Haney, but I also like Lopez, too. So, um, I go with Devin Haney. Uh, you choose yours. Pound for pound breakthrough, Aero Sprints, Arthur Bidavev, and Jose Ramirez. Uh, I don't know how Bidavev got in there as pound for pound breakthrough. Are you crazy? What? Uh, yeah, I guess between Spence and, and Ramirez, I, I would pick Spence. Uh, stoppage 
of 2018. Dante Wilder, Ortiz, two. Naoya Inoue versus Rodriguez. Canelo versus Kovalev. Triple G versus Rose. I go with Wilder Ortiz. It's a great stoppage. Trainer of the year. J. Diaz, Dante Wilder, Eddie and Chapo, Reynoso for Canelo, Derek James for Errol Spence. <clears throat> I go with Dante's trainer. He's got a lot more work to do than the other two guys. Canelo's already established. Errol Spence is, you know what I'm saying? Dante's learning on the job. So I go with Dante's trainer for that one, okay? And you're doing a good job because the kid's, kid, he's looking better. Comeback of the year. Anthony Joshua or Manny Pacquiao? I don't know. Manny's been back and forth and back and forth. So maybe we give that one to Anthony Joshua. You got to give him something. He did, you know, come back and get his belts back. Uh, upset of the year. Julian Williams, Anthony Canicio, Andy Ruiz. Which one? You go Ruiz? Or Julian Williams, I think Sandy Ruiz. Probably the biggest uh, upset, you know what I'm saying, for the heavyweight belts. Got Joshua's belts. Yeah, I think Andy Ruiz for that one. Now, fighter of the decade, you got Andre Ward, you got Canelo, and you got Floyd Mayweather. Who are you picking on that one? Me? I mean... <laughs> I'm going to go with Andre Ward. The guy's been undefeated since he was 14 years old, okay? <laughs> Canelo. <laughs> I mean, Floyd. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little tired of hearing their names. So I go with Andre Ward. And now, let's go back to... Let's go back to Fighter of the Year. Canelo, Manny, Arrow, Nahoya, Dante, Anthony Joshua. I, I really would like to go with Dante Wilder. I really like Dante. I like the things he's doing. He's knocking people out. He's still undefeated. But I guess you'd probably have to go with either Canelo or Manny. Either one of those. Fighter of the year. Uh, women's, we did women's fighter of the year. No, we didn't. Katie Taylor, Amanda, Clarissa. Yeah, you got. We got to choose one. Kills Corner's got to choose one. I'm gonna go with Katie Taylor. Uh, or maybe uh, Clarissa. I'm gonna go with Clarissa Shields because Katie Taylor's last fight, I thought she got beat. But hey, I like Katie Taylor. So, but I think we'll go with Clarissa Shields. She's a solid fighter. Personality not so hot, but whatever. I'm not into uh, personalities. All right. So, Kills Corner, baby. Just giving you some news. I'll probably be back with another video. You know, uh, hands up. Chin down. Keep punching. Keep punching, baby. Off the beat of his? <laughs> pound for pound? Come on. Not yet. And now.